Right, what I'm going to show you is how to install Kodi um, and of its plugins that we normally use like um, Fusion, Xfinity, Metal Kettle and a few other things. So I'm going to go to Kodi.tv downloads and as I'm doing it on the Mac um, I'm going to install the Mac one but obviously you can see there's Windows, Linux, Android um, there's an actual bootable one to make an old PC into um, a, just a media player that just literally boots from the CD and installs it to the hard disk. Um, if you've got a uh, iPad and it's been jailbroken, you can install it on there using Cydia. Uh, Raspberry Pi, there's a few of them, but again, a bit slow now, so I, I've, I've given up with the Raspberry Pi now. And uh, I did have the Apple TV version one working with it. But um, anyway, let's do the Mac, download it, and when that's installed, will appear this, look at this, and you just drag it onto there, like so, and that should install it. I think I've actually... Okay. This is the latest uh, Kodi and uh, whatever. Get rid of any of those that came up. Right, first thing we're going to do, go to System and down to File Manager. And we're going to go Add Source. And in the source, we've got to type HTTP slash slash fusion dot x com. That might be an old link, but it still works, so I'm not too bothered. I'm sure there's going to be a Kodi one by now. Um, once that's added, you can go to back to the home page, go into System and Add-ons. Click OK on that. Go to Install from a Zip. Click on Fusion. Go to Start here, and the one we want is um, Video Hub Wizard. And that should install down the bottom here somewhere. When it's installed, you should see a config wizard. You go into programs, config wizard, and it brings up this. And in this case, I'm on the Mac, but obviously you can see there is every other type of device on there. So I'm going to click on Mac and let it do what it needs to do. It's very clever. It does a lot of the work for you. So uh, one thing you must do, though, is do Fusion first, because any other plugins you've put in or add-ons, it wipes them out um, and makes it its own. So once we've done Fusion, we can add other stuff onto it and customize it slightly. So we'll do that shortly. Just gonna wait for this to install. Listen to this funky music. <laughs> but. Okay, and that's done. We go and it's customized it slightly and uh, it's put a few bits on here already some of these I don't really use in the UK because they're, they're not working very well I've even given up on ice films now so um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just customize the appearance and get rid of a few things so I've gone into um, application settings and in here in home window I'm going to turn off music, I'm going to turn off pictures, turn off weather, and then back to the home screen, it should cut down the view of it slightly. So we've only got the three things at the moment. In fact, we could turn off programs as well, thinking about it. So appearance, settings, and there we go. Back to the home page. So all we've got is videos and system. So we're going to go back to system, file manager, and add another source. And this time it's HTTP uh, Xfinity dot Xfinity talk dot com. Just give it a name, doesn't matter what it is, anything you'll do. Um, okay, add another one. 
and there's something called Super Repo, so HTTP and it's srp.nu. I'll put these in the description at the bottom so you haven't got to try and watch it all. This is Super Repo. Um, another one is um, HTTP, um, Cody dot metal capital dot co and just put that one as MK. I've done those from out of out of uh, my head without actually checking them, so hopefully I did them right. Normally it comes at this point and says it doesn't work when you go back in. So straight into system, add-ons, install from a zip again, and we'll go into metal kettle first, and we're just gonna do the basic one. There is other ones in there that you could do as well, but that's the main one I'm interested in. Now sometimes this does actually crash at this point. Sometimes you just gotta be impatient, a bit patient and wait, because I'm quite impatient, so I'll probably bomb it out and go back in. Uh, it's actually come up at the top if you can see that it's uh, not just a force quit or something. It doesn't always do it, but it sometimes does. So let's come out and class, see if we can just crash it out. Force quit. Find it from my list. Force quit. There you go. And Shut that down and just open it again. Doesn't always do it, but sometimes does it, so not a major issue. And it should have kept some of the bits we've done. We might have to do the Xfinity one again, but let's just have a go. So add ons, install from the zip, and Lots of warnings come up on that. So, let's check we've done that one. Let's go through and just checking some of the repos that we've already put on. Um, let's get Super Repo on. And the one I'm on is um, is in God or whatever it's called. And I just go into all and click that on. Install from the zip. Um, where, where did we get to? Yeah, uh, Xfinity the bomb. That one. So in theory, all those bits should be on now. All that's done is given us the repositories though, where they actually are stored. So we've now got to go uh, install from a repository. I tend to go probably all, and then it's down to video add-ons. And then down in this list, There's something called Cartoon HD, which is sometimes quite good. Again, you can try any of these ones above, but the main good ones are sort of that eight Cartoon HD that installs. Um, there's lots of football ones usually. Down this list, if you just look down, you'll see them and just try them out. Let's keep going down. Um, Yeah, there's some football highlights, it's always good. Football replays. Um, football today. Keep going down. I'm going to drag this down a little bit because the one I want to get to next is uh, down under you. Which is... Uh, UK Turk TV, which I like. Which we should get to in a minute. I think they have changed the name slightly. Oh, it does actually, but I think it's just on US TV. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, look, UK Turk playlist they've changed it to now, but it's. That's quite good. You'll know by the symbol. Looks like a Turkish delight, I guess. Um, 
Let's go back to our main menu, see what's in the videos now. Um, you can go add-ons and it should list all the ones that you've actually got installed. There's all the football ones we've added and a few others. But I'm going to customise the menu now so that uh, when we go into videos these ones are the ones we actually want. So system, appearance, settings and go to add-on shortcuts and I'm going to get rid of channel 1 because that doesn't always work in the UK, it's a bit of a pain to get working. And I'm going to pick the one I've picked there. Um, another one probably stream all the sources, you can get rid of that one. Again, if you want to use it, you can use it, but if not, I'm going to do Protect TV. There was another one in that list there that you might be interested in called Sports Devil. I don't know if you saw that. It's like a picture of a football with some uh, little horns on the top. Um, Phoenix is always good, but again, there's probably some better ones now that you might want to use. So if you just look down the list again, you might be interested in uh, other ones. Navi X usually works, but it has got some uh, sort of porn showing and things like that, so it's probably not good for uh, if you've got youngsters. So perhaps put Sports Devil on as well on that list. So that's that's added the list. If you want to change the background picture, you can do it here. Um, you can click in and pick different ones. If you uh, wanted to, there is a way of downloading backgrounds to it. You can actually put them where they are on your machine or the, in that on the program, the one which we've turned off. You can actually add some background pictures that way. There's a few models and things like that. So let's go into this one and you can close down that. And then, here we go, latest movies. I think that one tends to work. Mm -hmm. There we go. Pictures tend to, tend to come up a little bit afterwards, but there's a, quite a few things on here. Look, Ant Man. There is some options on the left here as well if you wanted to get to to change the the view, which I'll do when it's done. To get the list of all the different uh, repositories where the stuff is, you sometimes have to wait. Come on. There we go. Right. So down in here, you can pick different ones and just try them out. There is some HD ones. Don't know which ones work. There's a, there's a couple that tend to work every time, but uh, it just depends. Anyway, what we'll do is just try the first one and just see if it does actually play. Says the bottom, no stream, so that one wasn't there. Just an example. So let's perhaps move down to this one. Doesn't always work the first time, but that's why there's so many sources because uh, obviously they're being taken up and down all the time. Let's see what this one does for us. Yep, it looks like it's going to play. See the triangle at the bottom left. That normally means it's got a chance of playing. And it's just buffering a little bit now, um, loading it onto the actual memory of your hard disk on the your machine, just so that it's got enough to play and keep the stream going. Obviously, dependent on your broadband connection. I mean, I'm on a probably 100, 150 meg broadband, so it should be uh, okay. While it's playing, you can just wiggle your mouse and you get lots of options. Some things you can change the audio on. This Start. one's greyed out, but if, if, sometimes if it's playing in, let's well, say, hey. Russian, you can swap it, the audio to um, You're supposed to be in Moscow. Uh, your language. Um, there is uh, audio offset. If, for example, if the lips aren't matching up to the sound, you can actually click on that and change it and try and match it back up for the rest of your film. And it's sometimes quite annoying when the, uh, the, the sound is behind the picture or the other way around. So it's quite handy to do. Uh, the pin particle is the most revolutionary science ever developed. Help us put it to good use. Like that. You trim me into you your errand boy. Quiet. And now you try to steal my um, research. We can stop the movie, we can forward the movie on. I think you can't necessarily drag it over on this one, but you can actually fast forward. And if you keep clicking and fast forward at the top here, you can see it's times four, or uh, you can go up to 32. So you can go 32 times to actually forward the film on quite a bit. So stop that. Um, on the left here, there is a way of sorting your list, so you can actually change the list. Got big thumbnails or whatever. 
different ways, a few other bits and bobs on that. Um, let's go back to the menu, let's try uh, Total TV. Now this, this one's quite good, it does have um, sports on it as well, but I'm just going to go into English TV and you can see when this was last updated it's got the usual UK channels, plus you get a few of the American ones, things like uh, Fox, um, HBO, uh, TV Thousand, even though it does say on this now, the, for some reason you can't change it from Russian anymore, it did work for a while but other ones you can, you know, Dubai, this um, has a few things on it, there we go, it's got the Xbox a live stream from uh, Dubai. It's in England. Um, what else have we got down there? There's National Geographic, Discovery, Nick Jr. If you've got kids, you could uh, actually put Nick Jr. on it. There's three links to that. Um, and I think if, again, if the language is the wrong language, you can actually flick it over on here somewhere. You can actually change it to. Uh, the other one, and um, when it's buffered, you should play. Have a look. Me too. Let's think about what you can do with the library. Right, you can stop that. Quite a lot of choice. I think there's a NASA TV at the bottom. If you want to watch like this International Space Station and things. Um, that's the menu, um, cartoon, HD, sometimes works, sometimes doesn't, again there's movies on there, I don't seem to be showing many this, this lately though, was that the Spectre, was an older one, I've got to know, yeah, there's a few old ones, I don't know why this, this isn't quite as good as it used to be, but hey hey, that's the way things go on these uh, sites, Sports Dev, well, again I haven't been on this for a while, let's see if it's working, let's see what's on there. Um, I think you go to live sports and it's normally something like first row I think there's stuff on there, football and again you've got all sorts of bits and bobs on here that maybe of use to somebody. But hopefully that uh, gives you a bit of an idea on how to set this thing up without mucking about. There's a whole load of options, there's music, there's karaoke, there's all sorts you can put onto this thing just YouTube how to do it. Um, to close it down you can reboot your machine or you can just exit out back to your desktop. Takes a little while for some reason. And that's it from me so hopefully that helped you and uh, we'll get you